10 Proven Signs Predicting Life Expectancy After 70 Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into something that hits home for a lot of us 10 proven signs that can predict how long you'll live after you hit 70. This isn't fluff or guesswork. It's backed by science and real-life patterns doctors see every day. We're talking about your body's secret signals some you might not even notice yet that could tell you how many good years you've got left. So, grab a coffee, get comfy, and let's jump right in because trust me, you'll want to hear every bit of this. Sign 1. Your walking speed. Let's kick things off with something so basic you probably don't even think about if though fast you walk. Believe it or not, your walking speed after 70 is like a crystal ball for your life expectancy. Studies, like a big one from the University of Pittsburgh back in 2011, tracked thousands of seniors and found that folks who keep a brisk pace around 3 miles per hour, or about a 20-minute mile tend to live years longer than those creeping along at 1 mile per hour or less. Why does this matter? Because your walking speed isn't just about your legs, it's a snapshot of your whole system, your heart pumping strong, your lungs pulling in air, your muscles holding up, and even your brain keeping everything coordinated. Tom's a 72-year-old retiree from Columbus, Ohio. Every morning, he's out in his neighborhood park, striding along with his dog, Buddy. He's clocking a steady 15 minutes per mile fast enough to pass the joggers huffing by, no sweat. He's got this fluid, confident gait, no stumbling, no pausing. Then there's Linda, also 72, living down in Sarasota, Florida. She used to love her sunset walks on the beach, kicking sand with her flip-flops. But lately, she's slowed way down, barely hitting 100 feet before she's winded, leaning on a bench to catch her breath. Tom's pace screams vitality, he's got a body that's still firing on all cylinders. Linda slow down? It might be whispering something tougher, maybe her heart's struggling, her circulation's sluggish, or her muscles are losing their oomph. Heck, it could even be an early sign of something neurological, like Parkinson's creeping in. Now, don't get freaked out if you're not a speed demon, here's the cool part, you can totally improve this. Start small walk around your block, aim for 10 minutes without stopping. Time yourself with your phone or a cheap watch from Target. Maybe you're at 2 miles per hour now, great, nudge it up a bit each week. Grab a buddy to keep you honest, or pop in some earbuds and let Springsteen push you along. If your knees creak, try a treadmill at the gym low impact, same payoff. Heck, even a stroll through the mall counts just dodge the food court temptations. Point is, it's not about running marathons, it's about keeping a steady rhythm. Studies say every extra 0.1 meters per second you add to your pace like going from a shuffle to a struck and tack on years. So, next time you're heading to the mailbox or crossing the grocery store parking lot, ask yourself, am I moving with purpose or am I lagging behind? Your legs might just be the simplest way to peek into how many years you've got left to enjoy. Sign 2, your grip strength. Alright, let's shift gears to something you might not expect your grip strength. That you didn't think the firmness of your handshake could predict your future, right? Well, the Journal of Gerontology says it's a big deal. They found that folks over 70 with a strong grip think 60 pounds of pressure for guys, 40 pounds for gals tend to live longer and healthier than those whose hands are getting wobbly. It's not just about macho vibes, your grip's a window into your overall vitality, muscle mass, nerve function, blood flow, the works. A weak grip? It's like an alarm bell for frailty, falls, even heart trouble down the road. Mike, a 75-year-old from Austin, Texas. He's the guy still hauling 20-pound bags of mulch for his backyard garden, cracking open Lone Star beers with a twist, and shaking hands like he's sealing a deal at the rodeo. His grip's a vice steady, no tremble. Then there's Sarah, also 75, up in Portland, Oregon. She used to knit like a champ, but now she's fumbling with a jar of pickles, dropping her 5-pound grandkid when she tries to lift him. She shrugs it off, oh, I'm just old, but it's not that simple. That weakening grip could mean her muscles are shrinking, her nerves are fraying, or her circulation's not keeping up. Over time, that ups her odds of tripping over the cat, breaking a hip, or facing bigger health hits. Wanna test yours? Grab a tennis ball, squeeze it hard for 5 seconds. Feels solid? Awesome. Shaky or weak? Don't sweat it, you can build it back. Pick up some hand grippers $10 at Walmart or snag a couple 2-pound dumbbells from the garage. Squeeze M while you're binging Netflix, 10 reps a side, 3 times a day. Or try this, fill a gallon jug with water about 8 pounds and carry it around the kitchen a few times. Real-world stuff like opening jars or lugging groceries gets easier, and your body stays tougher. 
Research says every 11 pound drop in grip strength bumps your risk of dying early by 16% crazy, right? Your hands aren't just for holding your morning coffee or scrolling your phone. They're a lifeline to staying independent. So, give Emma a workout how well you hold on today might show how long you'll keep holding on to life. Sign 3, your balance. Okay, let's talk about something we all take for granted until it starts slipping your balance. You might not think about standing on one leg since your last backyard barbecue limbo contest. But hear this, a study from the British Medical Journal tracked folks over 70 and found that if you can hold that one leg stance for 10 seconds without wobbling, you're likely to outlive someone who tips over in two. Balance isn't just a party trick, it's your legs, brain, and nervous system teaming up to keep you steady and alive. Jane, a 73-year-old from Boulder, Colorado. She's been doing yoga twice a week since her kids left for college downward dog, tree pose, you name it. She lifts one foot, holds it like a flamingo, no sway, no sweat. Then there's Dave, same age, out in Detroit, Michigan. He's a retired auto worker, used to be on his feet all day, but now? He tries that one leg thing, wobbles like a weeble, grabs the couch before he face plants. Jane's balance is rock solid, her muscles are strong, her brain's sharp. Dave stumble? It might mean his legs are weakening, his coordination's off, or even his brain's starting to fuzz out early dementia's a sneaky culprit here. Try it yourself, stand up. Lift one foot a few inches off the floor. Count to ten. Easy as pie? You're golden. Shaking like a leaf? No panic, just practice. Start by a counter for support, lift one foot, hold five seconds, build up. Or walk heel to toe across your living room, like you're on a sobriety test minus the cop. Tai Chi's killer for this to check your local rec center, lots have free classes for seniors. Why bother? Falls are the top injury for folks over 70 think 36 million tumbles a year in the US, per the CDC. Good balance cuts that risk and keeps your mind humming. So, next time you're waiting for the microwave, give it a go how steady are you? It's a simple check that could mean more years upright and kicking. Sign 4, your sleep quality. Now let's head to the bedroom, no, not like that, let's talk sleep. How you snooze after 70 says a ton about how long you'll stick around. The National Institute on Aging says 7 to 8 hours of deep, uninterrupted sleep keeps your body repairing, your immune system tough, and your brain flushing out junk like those amyloid plaques tied to Alzheimer's. Skimp on it, and you're rolling the dice on heart disease, memory loss, even a weaker fight against colds. Meet Bill, a 71-year-old from Savannah, Georgia. He's got this rock-solid routine lights out at 10 p.m., up at 6, refreshed like he just had a spa day. He's dreaming of fishing trips, not wrestling nightmares. Then there's Kathy, same age, in Chicago, Illinois. She's a mess dosing all night, up every hour to pee or stare at the ceiling, dragging through her days with coffee number three by noon. Bill's sleep is pure gold, his heart's steady, his mind's clear. Kathy's chaos? It's stressing her body blood pressures creeping up, brains getting foggy, energies tanked. How's your sleep game? Hitting that 7-hour sweet spot, waking up ready to roll? Or battling the 3 a.m.? Blues, zonked even after 8 hours? Fix it, ditch the phone an hour before bed. Blue lights a sleep killer. Stick to a schedule same bedtime, same wake up, even weekends. Sip some chamomile tea, crack a window for fresh air, or try a white noise machine dollar 20 on Amazon Beats counting sheep. If you're waking up a lot, check for sleep app Niesnering's a clue, a doc can hook you up with a CPAP. Sleep's not just downtime, it's your body's reset button. Tonight, clock those there you recharging, or running on fumes. It might just decide how strong you stay for the long haul. Sign 5, your appetite. Alright, foodies, this one's for your appetite. How much you enjoy your meals after 70 and what you're eating can predict your future big time. The American Geriatrics Society says a healthy hunger, fueling up with 50 to 60 grams of protein a day think a chicken breast, some eggs, a yogurt keeps your muscles solid and your immune system ready to rumble. But if that appetite's fading, it's not just, a I'm not hungry, it could signal digestion issues, hormone shifts, or even early brain changes. Take Helen, a 74-year-old from San Diego, California. She's in her kitchen whipping up grilled salmon with lemon, a side of steamed broccoli, maybe a glass of Pinot Grigio loving every bite. She's steady at 130 pounds, full of pep. Then there's Paul, same age, in Buffalo, New York. He's lost his spark skipping breakfast, picking at a sandwich for lunch, living on Ritz crackers and Pepsi. He's dropped 10 pounds without meaning to feels weak. 
Helen's thriving her body's getting the goods, protein, vitamins, hydration. Paul's fatting malnutrition sneaking in, muscles are wasting, and his immune system's waving a white flag. Check your plate are you still pumped for dinner, hitting 2,000 calories with real foo meat, veggies, whole grains, or barely eating full after a few bites? Step it you pad protein. Scramble eggs for breakfast, toss beans in a salad. Sip water all day dehydration kills hunger. If food's lost its joy, talk to a doc could be meds, dentures, or something deeper like depression. Eating's not just survival, it's power. Ask yourself, am I fueling up for more years or letting my tank run dry? Your forks your friend use it right. Sign six, your stress game. Stress man, it's the uninvited guest we all deal with. But how you handle it after 70? That's a game changer for your lifespan. The American Heart Association says chronic stress pumps out cortisol, sparking inflammation tied to heart attacks, strokes, even faster aging. Folks who keep it cool, though? They stay healthier, sharper, longer. Think of Ed, a 76-year-old from Phoenix, Arizona. Life throws curveballs, car breaks down, $500 bill, but he's chill. Deep breaths, a walk in the desert, a call to his poker buddy dress melts away. Then there's Marie, same age, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Same car trouble, but she's a wreck pacing, replaying it all night, blood pressure hitting 150 to 90. Ed's calm keeps his body steady, Marie's tensions a slow poison sleeps shot, heart strained, energy's gone. How's your stress vibe? Cool as a cucumber when the cable goes out, or raging at every red light. Try this five minute breather, inhale four seconds, exhale six, feel it settle. Or blast some comedy Chris Rock will loosen you up. Exercise works 220 minutes on a bike, even a rusty one from the garage. Stress isn't just mood, it's mac at it, add years. Next time the bossy neighbor or a flat tire hits, what's your play adapt or explode? Your answer might shape how long you're here. Sign 7, your social life. Let's talk people your crew, your lifeline. The Harvard study of adult development 80 years running says strong social ties beat loneliness hands down for longevity. Friends, family, even the chatty guy at the diner, they lower stress, boost your brain, cut risks of depression and heart trouble. Ruth, 77, from Memphis, Tennessee. She's at bingo night hollering, B12. Texting her grandkids about Elvis trivia. Laughing over coffee with her church pals. She's connected, alive. Then there's Carl, same age, in Duluth, Minnesota. He's solo TV blaring reruns, phone silent, no one's knocked on his door in weeks. Ruth's thriving, her brain's buzzing, her heart's happy. Carl's fading isolations dragging his mood, his health, everything. You got a squad weekly calls, a golf buddy, a book club? Or pulling back, dodging invites? Reach out, grab a burger with an old pal, join a senior's hiking group at the park. Small stuff counts, wave to the mailman, chat up the cashier. Loneliness kills literally. It's as bad as smoking 15 cigarettes a day, per the CDC. Relationships aren't fluff. They're your shield. So, who's in your corner and who are you calling today? Sign 8, your hearing. Hearing sneaky it slips away and your ears might too. Johns Hopkins dug into this and found untreated hearing loss shrinks your brain faster up to one cubic centimeter a year and isolates you, upping dementia risk. Clear ears keep you in the game. Jim, 70, from Reno, Nevada, catches every word at the bar, another bud, please no problem. Sue, same age, in Topeka, Kansas, misses half the convo, nods blankly, stays home more. Jim's engaged, Sue's drifting. Test it TV at 30 volume, hear whispers 5 feet off? Crystal? Good. Muffled? See a doc hearing aids start at $200 at Costco, way cheaper than missing life. Ears on, world on, don't let silence steal your time. Sign 9, you're breathing. Breath's huge lung power at 70 screams staying power. The American Lung Association says solid capacity like blowing out 2 liters on a spirometry test means more birthdays. Weak lungs? Troubles brewing. Frank, 73, from Bozeman, Montana, hikes a mile, breathes deep no gasp. And same age, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, wheezes after 50 steps got D's knocking. Frank's rocking it and's fading. Try a deep breath, hold 10, exhale slow. Smooth? Sweet? Struggling? Walk more 15 minutes daily ditch the smokes if you're still at it. Strong lungs keep you rolling, how's yours? Sign 10, your curiosity. Last up your spark, your curiosity. You see Berkeley says folks who stay curious learning, asking, 
exploring keep their brains young, outliving the same old crowd. Mary, 71, from Richmond, Virginia, paints watercolors, goggles, why is the sky blue, alive with wonder. Joe, same age, in Boise, Idaho, zones out same TV, same chair, no questions. Mary's thriving, Joe's coasting. You digging into podcasts, trying recipes, fixing that leaky sink? We're stuck. Start small a Sudoku book, a YouTube guitar riff. Curiosities, your fountain of youth still got it? Final thoughts. There it is, 10 signs, head to toe. Where you at? Striding strong, sleeping sound, surrounded by folks? Or slowing down, stressing out, solo? Here's the deal you can shift most of this. Today walk a block, squeeze a ball, call a friend. It's not just about more candles on the cake. It's about lighting up every damn day. Drop a comment what's one sign you're tackling? Hit like, subscribe, ring that bell, let's keep rolling together. Thanks for sticking with Miri Awesome. See you next time.